to harm them is to shoot them in the head. Right, this movie here. Body melt. Two hands. This movie, Wolf Creek. This movie, an excellent film. And many others. Chopper. So what do these films have in common? Yes, they are Australian. Two places in the world I want to visit. Goes back years since I was younger. America and Australia and seem to have an affinity with both the continents. What I like about Australian movies is they are down to earth, gritty, violent, lots of swearing, which kind of gives this impression that the culture is like that, and I think that's quite unfair. Which brings me to what this video is about, and it's about... No, 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 no. Him, it's about him. So Pat Nutter and myself was doing a bit of a trade with some pipe trade. I sent my Gauntley's Dunny Reject to Blakemar because Mike was going to send that with the pipe that Glenn had bought. And that's another video entirely. I'll put the link in the description of this one. But there was a trade and we haven't really told anyone what the trade was until now. 55 bucks. Holy crap bolts, that is just outrageous. Post the post is just disgusting. Around the world it seems like it. Um but this quite decent sized box got here. First of all, before I go down the sweetie room, let's go to this because this, oh yeah, you either love it or hate it. Well, I love it. I've had it before. It's very hard to track down here. I think now you can get it here, but you've got to be a lucky and find the right supermarket that stocks it. But this is all the way from Australia. Beautiful stuff. Brilliant. Fabulous. Vegemite. I was going to do this box opening, or box revealing outside. But as you can see, it's still cracking weather in the UK. Very, very warm. And it would have just melted the contents. Keeping the heat out of the house rather than let's open all the windows and doors, let's get the heat in the house so we can really, really suffer. This is a delayed box opening, box revealing. Uh, I've been delving into it. Um, I've already spoke to, in fact, I actually did the opening on Skype with Glenn. It's a kind of a sweetie pipe trade um, with a few surprises because he did add some tobacco in here. Stop with the edibles. Uh, stuff that we can't get in this country for sure. Uh, now, Tim Tam, Tim Tams, like the name of that. This looks very much like a a penguin. Very similar. Very interesting name. They do a a Cadbury's Freddo Frog, but it's a bit got white at the top. I don't know whether we do these or not. I'm not sure. Which brings me to these Cadbury's but Australian cabbies, made in Australia, Caramara Koalas. So basically it's a, a caramel style bar in the shape of a koala. There you go. <laughs> Very cute. And oh, they are, oh, that didn't go right. Mint patty. 50% less fat. Woo woo. Biscuit. A biscuit. That's like marsh mint marshmallow. No, that's different. Yeah. It's Aussie. There you go. Nice one. I shall keep all these packets because just the outer like that, because I, I do have a selection of stuff that's been sent to me from all around the world. This is like a reminder of what stuff is across the pond. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot the note, didn't I? G'day, my old mate. 
Bon, lui, vous avez du Henry Harry Fred, puis il Henry, oh, I can't tell you anymore because I'm going to come to that in a minute. Be well, Cobber. Brand the pop nutter. Nice writing. Well, it's nice sort of text, I should say. Beg your pardon. <laughs> You've got to, haven't you? You've got to have these. You've got to have these. Are essential. They're great. I love them. I mean, amongst all my death and horror, <laughs> when it comes down to some, like, I do like this sort of stuff as well. So they'll probably sit here. Yeah. And these are Australian tea bags. Made by Twinings. Australian afternoon tea. And I tell you, they're a damn good cup of tea. I've um, I've had several cups of these already. They're excellent. They're really, really nice. And I'll send you some of these when I send my package out to you. You're going to get some of those. Yorkshire. Okay. That's the consumables. What else in the box? <laughs> yeah, you told me where these are from. <laughs> They're from the US actually. They're quite funny though. Newcastle Brown. Um, pub coasters. We've got a nail. Pipe cleaners, whoa! Now this is nice. Gave me a choice of a tamper that he was going to send me. I chose this one. Now to me, that looks like a dingo's claw. Beautifully carved a star by Nathan Campbell. That's really nice. That's very nice. Speaking of tampers, I've got quite a unique one here. This is a pipe nutter tamper. Oh yes. Australian wood. Straight from his backyard. This has probably been of a kangaroo's ass. Oh yeah. Just look at the grain on that. Joking aside, that, I, I really do like that. I, I love that. That bark on it is really nice. <laughs> and you've got two sizes. You've got little tamper for small pipes. Big tamper for Mario Grandis. Um, superb. I really do like this. That's that. See, the personal touch. I like these personal touches. Uh, filter. <laughs> yes. I'll um I'll find something to do with that. Pop it in, stick it in Bill's ear. The other tray. I'll get to the main tray in a minute because uh, I've, I've took, already took out the box and opened it. Um, he also very 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 kindly, seeing as I've only got actually two cobs. I've got a I've got a legend, and I've got the wonderful MacArthur, which is beautiful but it's huge. So I really haven't got any sort of sort of dinky pipe. Or normal size, you know. So, Glenn got me this. Brand new Missouri Mersham Country Gent. Really nice cob, very tactile, solid bowl, big bowl. What a big bowl that is. Thank you, mate. That is most appreciated. Appreciated. It does sound insane sending tobacco from Australia to here, seeing as. Australia is worse than England for getting decent tobaccos and the expense, so to my utter surprise. So Glenn, bless him, sent me some Carter Hall. It's quite nice. Uh, there was more than that, I've been smoking it. Australian plastic bag, oh yeah. Um, also, uh, some Granger, never heard of this. Um, only Gra Granger I know is Mr. Granger from Are You Being Served? A bag. Quite a bit of McBarron's. Spelt rather interestingly. Is that Australia spelled McBarron? 
McBaron. No, I can't do it. McBaron. McBaron. I don't know. Um, H and H, uh, old dark fight. Strong stuff. He sent me quite. He sent me a lot here, dude. Flipping it. Right. That was almost everything except one last thing. Look outside, sir, because the light here is very important. You'll see why. Okay. Need a light to show the detail of this, really. Are you ready? It's a Freddy Preto. As soon as he showed it me on Skype, I thought, yeah, yeah, that is just right up my street. Uh, the stem's quite unique because it looks quite dark. When you get into the light, it's purple, blue, very, very cool. Nice, chunky, little fat, quite a deep bowl. Freddy Preto. So, dude, I'm just over the moon with it. I'm going to probably smoke some Carter Hall in it now. Well, Glenn, mate, you're a top Aussie, man. Um, wonderful, fantastic, absolutely fa fabulous, mate. Really, you have a moon. Yeah, gonna enjoy some of that a bit later on, definitely. Love it, superb. And me cop. Yeah, thank you very, very much, mate. <laughs> I thought so, I remember seeing it in there. Aussie Danny Paper. Cheers, bud.